of Sydney, Chegonu, a lecturer in the RCS department, Faculty of Humanities, University of Puerto Rico. I'm here to deliver a lecture on one of my major key areas in the department, which happens to be a course that is titled African Symbolism and Iconography. Precisely a year two course that has been designed to showcase and bring to limelight the importance of symbols as they affect African worldview. You know, symbols are typifying, symbols are like vehicles that carry certain information about certain persons, about events, event centers, communities, and even cultures. Basically, this course is designed to allow students to actually come in contact with some of these major dominant symbols that are found within African context. For the purpose of this study, the course, is, has, the course has about 12 different topics. This course will open and widen their horizon on the need and how these medicines are prepared with a view to handling certain issues. Secondly, we will look at certain dominant symbols in our societies, practical examples, we will look at them and then itemize them one after the other and then bring to limelight what each of them symbolizes. We will look at saliva symbolism in our contemporary societies, how saliva is used, how it has been able to be you know, incorporated into our traditional spiritual forms and of course the negative and positive effects of saliva. Then we will look at African personality in ritual and symbolic forms. We will look at that will take us to religious expression of color symbolism and religious iconography in our information age. You know today the computer we are in a computer world where computer has taken over the social media even as I'm giving at least this, this lecture uh, it's been um, covered unlike before when everything was done locally, locally. That takes us to what we call symbolic communication using signs, graphs, symbols as a means of communication. Then after that we will look at traditional communication and the concept of iconography. How has the society benefited from the use of traditional instruments in terms of communication, passing of information from one community to the other, from one form to the other, and all that. You know, these are things we will look at. We will also look at body painting adornment in our society. Naturally, everybody is gifted, but today you see our ladies, our young ladies, you know, coming up with what they call body paintings. Some apply what we call artificial methods using things like lashes, extra jewelry like earrings, some, some put chains on their necks, or some even wear neck bead, waist bead and all that. These things are symbolic, depending on how they are being applied. Then it will take us to beginner's guide to the African traditional religion of contemporary cardiography. Before now, our people weren't exposed to modern, you know, teachings. Like in those days, even before the war, people who were educated, who went to primary schools, some of them didn't even know what they called chalk. Some used things like charcoal, some used wooden balls as slates, some even used leaves to, you know, clean the black balls and all that. Before we now came into what we have today, the use of Byron and other writing materials, those ones were, you know, there, they were, you know, in, in use. And then that takes us to the use of symbols in African Christianity. Some of these major symbols we're talking about, some of them are found in churches, some of them are found in mosques, some of them are found in traditional shrines and all that. We will look at them and then also come up with their symbolic interpretations. Then we will look at same, that same topic in African concepts, in African traditional religion, which brings us to the last, which is the summary, conclusion, and revisions. Basically, so these are the topics 
that are enshrined in this course as we, we look at them one after the other. Like I said earlier in our introductory aspect of this course, we've um, come to um, the real study as it affects the study in question. We will take a look at um, the first topic here, which is um, ritual symbolism in the preparation of traditional medicine in our contemporary society. Like I said earlier, the issue of ritual symbolism is very key in African worldview. What is it all about? It talks about the use of traditional medicine, how Africans have been able to come up with ideas, how they've been able to come up with, you know, ideas on how to prepare medicines with, with, with their African mentality, using basically some of these leaves around us, some of the shrubs around us, some of the herbs. Like I told us in the beginning of this lecture, each of them is symbolic based on how Africans have been able to interpret, how they've been able to look at them, look at the changes, look at how, how they have affected their life in terms of medicine preparation. And all these things boil down to what we call African mentality. Like today, if somebody is sick, they will tell you, go to the hospital. If you go there, they will look at you, do what they call diagnosis, come up with um, what exactly is wrong with you, and probably refer you to where you are meant to be based on what the, the issue is all about. But Africans, uh, you know, on the other hand, before now, had already had that idea in, in built in them. Knowing that when malaria strikes, they know the very leaves to you know to use, how to prepare them, makes them come up with, I mean, a precise and a, 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 a complete dosage of what is required for you to take. And the moment that is taken, you see yourself bouncing back, you know, in the next few minutes. So these are the changes that have been able to come into practice based on African worldview. The purpose of this study will look at the preparation of medicines for maybe for trade, for those who are into you know in, into businesses. What are the major you know items for you to prepare a medicine that will aid the buying and selling business? It means you must get something that is very key. Something that has that, that has a symbolic meaning as regards where the market by the selling is done and that is where is the market now for you to do it and, 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 and you know and succeed you must go to the market and get sound from the marketplace that sound symbolically represents the earth where everybody you know comes to buy and sell once that sound is gotten they use it to prepare medicine and once that medicine is prepared whatever action whatever thing that that person is doing goes with that another dominant symbol here is for you to prepare this medicine you must look at things that are symbolic that symbolize that which you want to do now if you go to where ants are clustered you see very many of them what are they doing some of them you see the ones that are going out to look for food some gather food some bring so symbolically these items must come into play for you to be sure and have a concrete you know idea of what we are talking about then, then lastly we also have the heart the heart of an ant so with the heart of an ant which people get in fact if you go to where messes are prepared they will tell you go and look for the heart of any ant believing that the heart puts in parentheses is the angel room and for you to do this medicine and succeed that heart must be there which of course tries to bring in everybody that wants to buy even those who don't even want to buy there are some shops you will go the moment you go there they will tell you okay please sit down on this chair they will use white hanky and glaze chair the moment you sit down there you must buy the action is that you must buy whether you want whether you want to buy or not you must buy it is only when you have bought and gone home that you now come and say ah i didn't know if i had known i didn't even intend to buy this i didn't intend to buy that but while you were there you never had such idea. The, the, the reason is that that medicine they prepared, not for you anyway, it's for everybody that comes.
Because the moment that medicine is prepared, they may put it under the chair, and anybody that comes in and sits on that chair must buy item, whether you want that item or not. Whether you have the money, some people even end up buying and telling them, okay, let me go home and get more money because I didn't even know I was go it, it was going to be this expensive. It is only when you when it's only when you have left the office that you will remember, oh my god, I have made a mistake. Why did I buy this? I would have bought this, I would have bought that. So don't allow such thing happen because the moment it happens, you must buy. The reason is that that heart, which of course which you have, has been able to attract you to sit on that chair. And the moment you sit down there, you must buy it. That is why in medicine preparation, they do these things believing that the moment the person comes in and sits down there with that very heart of an ant, which of course is found in every human being, you must be attracted to buy it and go. If you want to prepare a medicine that is very sluggish, a medicine that you don't want to fade away, in, in maybe in, 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 in one or two months, you use snail because snail is very slow, it's very sluggish in movement. That is the symbolic interpretation. If you want any medicine that works slowly, that will act and work slowly, you look for an animal that works slowly. Animals like tortoise, things, animals like a uh, snail, the alligator, I mean the chameleon, it's not a fast, you know, you know, they work sluggishly. So if, if you use any part of these ones, believing that these things work like this, if you use any 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 of their body parts to prepare the medicine, it works in line with the system with which that thing works. In this very medicine pre preparation, the saliva too is very important because you don't speak without the saliva. You must make an utterance which goes with the saliva, either to either for that to work effectively or not. The saliva is very important. Thank you very much.